This is a video I've been wanting to make for a really long time. I made a video a couple of years ago about confessing the things I was afraid to tell you. And one of those points was that I don't want to have children. And it's a conscious choice that I've made for my life and it's something I've always known about myself. And I got such a huge response from people. So many women sent me emails, messages, even the comments there on that video about how people were so grateful that I spoke out about that and why this is something that needs to be talked about. Women who don't want to have children and why that's okay and should be celebrated. Now, before I get into this video and talk about this and talk about why it's important for women to think about this seriously before making big decisions like having children. Before we go into that, I really want to mention that, preface this by saying children are amazing, motherhood is amazing, being a parent is wonderful, and just because I don't want to have children does not mean that's an affront to you or to anyone else out there who wants children or has children and loves being a parent. Just because I have made a choice for myself or I have certain views about parenthood does not mean that that's an attack on anyone else or that I'm silently judging people who have children. I think it's very easy in this day and age, especially now, for people to make assumptions about others for doing things differently and for me, my values may not, or my goals in life may not align with parenthood, but there's no judgment, no shame, no silent judgment at all toward anyone who wants something different with their lives. And I think by me sharing my life, my perspective and what I think, I think that will give space and encourage conversation to those who also are contemplating having kids or who also don't know what it is they want or don't know if parenthood is right for them. By me speaking up, I am sharing and giving space for other people to ask themselves the same questions. And so that's why I'm making this video. Let's get into it. So a lot of people assume, and I think this is the biggest thing about child free by choice. A lot of people assume that if you're a woman and you don't wanna have kids, that you either hate children or really dislike kids in general. B, you don't love your partner enough to want to have a child with them. C, that your career is way more important to you than having children. Or D, which is that you had a hard childhood. Your parents abused you or your mother gave you a hard time in childhood. And so because you haven't healed that within yourself or you have a painful memories of your child, then that means you are subconsciously putting that on and projecting that onto the idea of you having children. All of those things are lies and all of those things are assumptions. All of them, all four of those are assumptions. And that's something that's really, really important to point out at the beginning of this video. Because I'm telling you, anytime someone, a woman specifically, a woman goes out and talks about that she doesn't want kids, immediately there's judgment and an assumption that one of those points is the reason why. Sometimes people just don't want to have kids just because they don't want to have kids. And I think this brings me into point number one, which is having children, having a child is an insane responsibility. It is an immense responsibility to take on. Now, does that mean that it's worth it? Absolutely. I would say most people want children. Most women want children. Most women would say it's totally worth it and they love it and it's the best role, the best thing they've ever done with their lives. But not everyone values the same thing. Not everyone wants the same thing with their lives. Not everyone dreams of the same lifestyle. And I think that's really important to remember is that everyone has something that's calling them in their hearts to do. Whether it's career, whether it's traveling, whether it's being free and unattached and independent, which is my own personal reasoning. 
whether it's wanting more time, whether it's wanting more silence. Some women just want silence in their lives. Some women just want peace and they don't want someone always needing them and they don't want always to hear crying or someone playing, you know, in the living room, a child playing. Like some women just want peace and they don't want loud noises and mayhem and just a lot of things vying for their attention. Some women just want a simple life of pairing out the things that are not essential to them. Some people, some women just don't want kids for their lifestyle. And I'm one of those women. I am a woman that's, I am someone that needs silence. I need peace. I need space. Even with my marriage, my husband, I have the most incredible marriage in the world. My partner is the best, most wonderful thing in my life. But I also am an independent woman with my own, th I like doing my own thing. I like traveling alone. I like doing my own stuff. I didn't come to this life to be a mom. I came to this life to pursue the things that might sets my heart on fire, that excites me. And that can be explored through friendship, through hobbies, through my marriage. And that brings me to my next point of some people have such an amazing marriage or they love their partner so much that they don't want to have a child with them. And to some who choose to be a parent, they might think that's crazy. Why wouldn't you want 50% of you to be in a child with your partner, right? A lot of people think that, like, don't you want to have kids with your partner? Sure, I mean, I, the only person in the world that I would want to have a child with is my husband, Alex, absolutely. Having a mini Alex is the cutest thing ever. But my marriage and my relationship with him and our time that we have together, the things that we do together, the hobbies, the, the going on adventures, the going on trips, the watching the sunset together in silence, the going out dancing, the board game nights, the playing video games and Nancy Drew detective games, fostering cats and eventually having our own pets. That's a dream life. What a dream. And my dream life with him is so fulfilling without children. And a lot of people don't get that, but when you're in such a good marriage, you might not feel the need to have a kid with them. You don't need a kid to, I don't know, make you more in love with your, your husband. Like my husband and my marriage is amazing as it is and we don't need to add any more to it. Although we do really want cats and dogs eventually, and maybe a chicken coop <laughs> later down the road. But I guess what I'm saying is a lot of people assume that if you are happily married to your partner and you're so in love that you're going to automatically want to have a baby with them. Not everyone wants that. And that brings me to my next point, which is money. Money is a very important thing to talk about. Finances are important. Life is getting more expensive every day. Student loan debt. Go think about just taking, getting your kid to college. Like that's... A lot of pressure. Now, I do not have a scarcity mindset. I have an abundance mindset. I have a very good relationship with money and my perspective on money is very healthy and very positive. But I also am a realist and I also recognize that it's very expensive to have a child and to raise a child. And the thing about having a kid is that it is not like a two year, three year thing. And it's not just an 18 year commitment. It is 18 plus. You are devoting and dedicating your life to having a child, raising that kid, and seeing them through adulthood as they get older for the rest of your life. This is not a choice to be taken lightly. This is not a simple choice of, oh, let's have a kid. No, this is a serious, serious responsibility. And because I take it so seriously, and I approach it with such a you know, looking at the full spectrum of the long lasting enduring effects of what does it mean to have a kid now? To decide that I, I wanna have a kid and thinking long term about how that would affect my life every day, every day for the rest of my life, from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep for the rest of my life. I don't wanna make that commitment, not at all. If anything, that scares the crap out of me. Absolutely not. I, money is such an important thing to think about. Like seriously sit down and think about. Now a lot of people might say, 
you know, there's some other fears of, from women that I've heard. I've gotten messages from women about other reasons why they don't want kids. And I've also done a lot of my own personal research on, you know, why do women, are, why are they choosing not to have children consciously, right, intentionally? And there's some, a lot of various reasons, like there's, you know, some reasons about their bodies changing. There's the fear of the body changing or the fear of labor, the fear of a hard labor, a long labor, the pain, the side effects of what could happen after. There's the fear of postpartum depression, which is a very real thing and a very serious thing. I've met a lot of women in my life who've had postpartum depression or who have had complications after giving birth and it's lasted years. And that's another downside that a lot of women fear. I personally do not have this fear. I have other reasons why I don't want to have kids, but there's so many reasons why women are like actually choosing not to have children and that's okay and that's valid and we should celebrate and support women for making the choices that are right for them and their bodies. And I think they're the worst kind of, <laughs> the worst kind of person I think is a woman who judges another woman for making a choice for her body that is not aligned with her intuition and what she really wants. Women telling other women what to do with their bodies. I think that is truly one of the worst things. And it is something I, when I see that, I don't tolerate it and I call it out immediately. But I think there needs to be more openness, acceptance, and compassion for allowing women to make the choices that are right for them and their bodies, period. And I think we need to celebrate women who are making choices that are aligned with who they are and what they want out of life. I think we should celebrate women who are trusting themselves. We need to celebrate women who are trusting themselves and honoring who they are and what they want out of life. And online, you know, children, it's one of those weird sensitive topics for people where it's like people immediately take it as a front if you decide you don't want kids or they immediately want to debate you or they immediately want to inquire further and get to the deeper reasoning as to why you don't want to have kids. Oh, is it because your mother abused you? Is it because you had a hard childhood? Is it because you secretly don't love your husband? You having money problems? There's like all these assumptions that we put on women when maybe a woman is just following her heart and trusting herself and that, and she has different goals for her life. And that's another thing I want to point out is going along with the idea of like, sometimes women just don't want to have kids and that's enough. There's no reasoning behind it. And so a lot of people, when they see a woman who doesn't want to have a kid, they'll be like, oh, she's really like goal oriented. She's really driven on her career and building her career and being successful. Sometimes people don't want that or they don't care as much about that, but they just want a really rich personal life with their married partner or their hobbies or their travels or their interests or their friendship circle. Or they want to like focus on renovating houses. I don't know. Or they want to focus on their cats. That's enough of a reason to not want to have kids. We don't, we as women do not need to go further with that. We don't need to defend ourselves or defend or justify why we're making the choices we're making, we just can say, I don't want children. Yeah, I don't want kids. There's no reason to give. Now in this video, I am sharing some of the reasons why I don't want to have kids. Mainly it's I like silence, I like space, I like freedom to do my own thing, I like spontaneity and being able to you know, go travel when I want. I like freedom. Freedom in my life is the most important value in my life, number one. And having a child would limit me and limit the dreams that I have for my own life, which is to live a free spirited, adventure filled life of following my heart and doing whatever it is I wanna fucking do. A child would limit that. You can do both, absolutely. And a lot of people who are so anti women not having children, they'll, they'll be the first people online to say things like, um, the, 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 <laughs> the reasoning will be like, oh, it's because they think they can't do both. No, you can do both. You absolutely can. I've met lots of women who do both, but there are sacrifices and it is foolish to think that there are no sacrifices or that you, that you can do both with ease. You can do both. What, but will it be as easy? Will it flow as spontaneously?
No, because you have to plan for things. You have to plan for the car seat. You have to plan for the baby bassinet on the airplane. You have to plan for nap time and you have to plan extra snacks in your bag and you have to plan for school time. There are things that you can't just spontaneously easily go for when you have a kid. And it is, it is foolish to think that that it's not going to affect other areas of your life because having a child does affect other areas of your life. The stress of having a kid can affect your marriage. The stress of having a kid can affect your focus time with your work. It can. And again, you can do both, but it's foolish to not think about all perspectives about if I take this action, what are the possible ramifications? What are the possible ways this could play out in my life? And not being aware of that. It's foolish to not be aware of that. And the reason I'm not having kids is because I take child having a child very seriously. It is not something that's a fun idea or a fun thing to do with my husband. No, it is a serious decision that I think about and I take very seriously. And because I have made that choice for my own life and my husband and I am really grateful are on the same path with that. We've always been on the same path with that since we got together when we first started dating, we've always been in alignment and we haven't changed our ideas or opinions at all. Do we sometimes like think, see cute kids and, and sometimes I'm like, oh, they're so cute. Yes, because I love children. I love kids. I am a kid. I connect with children very easily and I love them. I also was a family and baby photographer for years because I love families and I love motherhood and I love babies and I love newborns and I love toddlers. I love children and family life. But just because you love something doesn't mean that it's for you. Just because you appreciate something doesn't mean that it's your life or it's in the cards for you or it's something that you even want. And I think when we put this pressure on women that they need to do something by a certain age or doing something because that's their role in life to procreate, that's backwards, that's archaic. We don't live in that time anymore. We're allowed to make our own choices for our own bodies and it's time we celebrate and respect women for doing what it is they need to do for themselves. No pressure, no peer pressure, no spouse pressure, none of it. And I'm also talking to the grandmas out there, the grandmas, the, the, the mothers who are putting pressure on their children to have babies. It's not okay. And I know that some people want other things for their lives or they imagined that they'd be a grandma by a certain age or they imagined that they would have a certain life, but it's, it's time to allow people to live their life independently from yours to take ownership and full responsibility for your own life and to allow people to freely do what they wanna do with theirs. No judgment, no assuming, no pressure, no judgmental thoughts on anyone who is doing things differently than you. But to honor yourself and to not point fingers on people for believing in something else or valuing something else in their life. And it's, I'm so passionate about this topic because I've noticed so many women are so sensitive about this. Like it drives me up the fucking wall. How women get, it's like they take it as a personal affront, a personal attack if another woman says they don't want children or if they talk about being child free at all or if they say why being child free is great. It's like other women, they take it so personally. We need to stop that. Just because other people are sharing their lives freely and happily and putting it out there does not mean they're attacking you. It's not personal. We're just sharing what we want and what we, what's important to us to have open, free self-expression. And I really encourage other women out there who are watching this, I encourage you to have these conversations with the people in your life, to talk about it with your friends, to talk about it with your spouse, your parents, your teachers, to talk about it, to have these conversations. What does it mean to be child free? What do you want? You know, my whole life, I always thought that there was something wrong with me for not wanting, having that urge, that maternal like urge to have a kid. I've never felt that. But it's like, I almost like, I remember in high school, I was, I've had a blog since high school. I've always been blogging. And I remember writing about how like, someday I'll have kids with a partner I love. And it's like, that was not my idea. That was not what I wanted ever. It was something that I was kind of like fed since I was a child. You have your Barbie dolls, you have your Kelly doll. They have a child, you get the little mini doll. 
Ken and Barbie have a kid, whatever. You play married life as a child, you play make-believe, you, you put the baby in the stroller and you play with it. Your parents make a subtle comment about someday you'll have kids of your own. And you just start taking that on and start believing, yeah, that's what I meant to do with my life, right? Or it's like a parent telling a kid, someday you'll meet a, ma a great man. Why does she need to meet a man? What if it's a woman? It's like we're subconsciously feeding ideas into children at such a young age that they should or probably will do something when we don't even know what it is their soul came here to do. I know for me, I always felt like it was something I had to do, but when I actually sat down with the idea of having kids, it was like, wait, that's not what I want. Actually, if I sit down and I get really clear on what it is out of, out of what I want out of my life, I actually don't see it with children. But it's this societal, you know, pressure. And we don't even realize it's there because we watch movies and we watch TV shows and we watch reality TV and people make comments or we see other people having kids. And so we start feeling the pressure to have kids of our own too. When that's, if we actually got still and we actually quieted the noise and slowed down our lives and actually inquired, what it is do we want? What is our soul asking us to do? What do we feel is right for us? The answers might surprise you. But I also wanna say this, I've seen a lot of content on TikTok or Instagram, Reels, even articles, YouTube videos about how a lot of women are making, you know, content about like, this is what, how fabulous my life is having no children. You will never see me doing content like that. You will never see me make content advertising and being like, my life is so fabulous without kids because I would never encourage women to <laughs> have children just because you'll have freedom. I would never want my life to subconsciously manipulate other people to make choices that look like mine or to look like an influencer or a content creator. Or even, I never want any content I make to subconsciously make you feel like what you're doing is wrong or your choices are wrong because I'm very much aware that we are all on our own paths and we're all doing our own thing and we're, we all have our unique soul path gifts, values that we came into this life to do. And we have to honor that voice within us. And I will never make content saying this is the best lifestyle. Being child free is better. Absolutely not. I will never say that because it's my own personal choice and I would never put that on someone else. I'm so passionate about this topic. I'm so passionate about encouraging women to make choices that are right for them. Encouraging anyone to listen to themselves and to trust themselves. I'm so passionate about that. And we are putting pressure consciously or subconsciously, we're not even realizing we're doing it. We're pressuring women that they should wanna have kids and that there's something wrong with them if they don't want that. There's something wrong with them if they don't wanna have a baby and procreate. That's not everyone's mission. That's not everyone's purpose. That's not everyone's job or dream or goal in life. There are so many ways that we can spend our time on earth and having kids is not the only thing. It's not the only way to spend our time. Okay, so I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspectives on this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to see share all of your perspectives. I want to hear every side because I, I love Googling this stuff. I love researching this. I love looking at Reddit and seeing what other people think. And I just want to encourage open discussion, open, non-judgmental, non-accusatory discussion. And if you are going to say something like, oh, what a shame you're missing out. There's nothing more wonderful than hearing mommy in the other room. I don't want to hear that. I'd love to hear in the comments, like, what do you think about this discussion, this debate that's online? And why is it that women take such a personal affront when another woman chooses not to have kids? Why do we feel personally attacked by that? It's the most bizarre thing. And I'd be, and I actually personally, I don't understand it. I can't even think about why someone would, would respond that way. So I'd be really curious if you guys can help me answer that question. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below why people do that. Like, why do people respond in that way? It's the most bizarre thing. I'm a huge proponent of live and let live. Just do you, boo. Just do you. I never say boo. I don't know why I said that, but just do you. 
<laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a magical day and I'll see you guys in the comments. Be nice down there. I wanna see nice conversations. No attacking, no hate, no mean mean words. We, we're a nice kindred spirit community here. But I, I wanna see these discussions because I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. All right, have a magical day and um, I'll talk soon. Bye.